What's up? It's Christine Horn, and you are watching Actors Daily Bread. This is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Oh man, I'm Christine Horn, professional working actress of 20 plus years, and a life and career coach for actors just like you. First of all, Happy New Year up in the joints. I'm in my robe with y'all this morning, okay? We just had a, me and Prince just had our walk, but, um, this is episode 207. This is the first Actors Daily Bread of 2020. Y'all, I was in bed at 1220 <laughs> last night. I spent the day um, working, um, to be honest, just working. Um, and I'll tell you why in a second. But today's live and what I wanted to, I was like, before I put my beat on and put hair on for y'all later, those of you who are joining me on my workshop tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern, if you don't know about it, get into it. The link is in my bio Instagram. The link is in my bio Facebook. You can join either today. We're doing it at 8 o'clock p.m. We're doing it at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow and Saturday, and that's it. There are no replays. You're going to want to be there. But let's get into what I wanted to get into with you today. I want to share three ways to speak life into your dreams because I was, you know, as I was... Uh, doing our walking meditation this morning. I just, it was on my heart. And as always, things that are on my heart, I just kind of pass on to you and share how I process. And if you, you know, eat the fish, spit out the bones, if it works for you, try it. Um, hey, Tarnisha, happy new year. Hey, Deneen, hey, Cherie. So first of all, I just want to say to each and every one of you, whether you watch this, um, if you're watching it live, and to all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So whether you watch this live or the replay, be sure you, first of all, you come on and say hi, happy new year. That's, that's what I want to see. I want to see your faces in the place. But listen, I know just from all of you who I've connected with in Hollywood Bound Actors and in the Facebook group here on Instagram, that you have so many amazing dreams and goals and desires. And I know some of them can be very scary. Um, Sometimes they can feel a bit unattainable. So I wanted to share three quick tips on how you can just continue to speak life into your dreams. First of all, I just want you, when you start thinking about what you want to accomplish for the for 2020, like I was doing, ooh, this hood got hot, y'all. I'll take that off. I thought it was cute, but it's hot. Um, <laughs> the first thing I want you to think of, especially because sometimes our dreams can be, seem, seem very huge. Top of 2019, my big dream was to write a book and then have an audio book. And I was like, sure, I'm going to do that. That's take a lot of energy. Who going to read it? Who going to care? And I had to put all that to the side and really forget the how. So that's a sidebar. Forget about the how, right? Because we don't, a dream has been placed in your heart, in your spirit. That's what, that's a fact. How it's going to get done is not for us to worry about at this time. I believe once the dream is placed in our heart, in our body, our mind, our spirit, our soul, like there, the way for it to come to life already exists. You are not tapped into it yet, but you will be. Okay? So forget the how and focus on the why. Why do I want this? What impact will it make on my life, on my career, my family, my spirituality, my finances, whatever the dream is, right? So focusing on the why not the how? Because some of you just stop. Some of you just stop because you don't know how. And then that just, you're just stuck there and, and nothing else will happen because you're like, well, I don't know how that's going to happen. That's a crazy pipe dream. And then it goes to the wayside. And especially if you're sharing that dream with someone who uh, is not a visionary, right? So tip number one is to write it down. I used to call this my pop strategy, plan on paper. Thank you for the love Instagram, right? Plan on paper, write it down. Until you write it down, it does not become real. Now this goes back to my old school days of personal development with Brian Tracy, right? Studying goal setting, just write it down. When it just stays up here in fairy, fairy land, Happy New Year, guys. <laughs> when it stays up here in fairy, fairy land, it's not real. It, from, as far as I'm concerned, when it's just up here, it's a daydream. It'd be cool if, it's like a hope and wait plan. But when I write it down, oh shit, it's real. Excuse me, I'm cussing on New Year's, right? It becomes real. Like, oh, now there's something holding me accountable. Something holding me accountable. And I dare you to speak a goal to a close friend, 
right? Someone who you can trust with your, with your secrets and say it out loud. See what it feels like to say it. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe they just said I want to, oh, that's what I want to do though. If I'm honest, <laughs> you know, like for me, something I, you know, goal of mine was like, I want to travel every month. I work hard as AF and I want to travel every month period. And whatever that means to me, like that's one tiny thing, right? So number one, plan on paper. Yes. Number two is visualize it daily. So a lot of y'all, I, I, I connect with you. I feel you. I feel you. You got day jobs. You got night jobs. You got marriages. You got relationships. You in these single streets. You got kids. You got pets. Like you got stressors that are all around. So gosh, what a treat is it, it, it is to spend five minutes literally just look, thinking about it. And this doesn't have to look like you closing your eyes and lighting a candle and getting your chakras together. It can be, because that feels good, but it doesn't have to be. It can be you driving in traffic and just seeing it with your mind's eye, seeing the goal, seeing the end result. And I love this quote, and I shared this as the year was ending, that one of my biggest lessons, you know, I shared this on my birthday in December, and as a quote by Michael Bernard Beckwith, you know, he said it during a session at Agape, and he said, the lack of evidence is not evidence of lack. So don't be fooled by what you see right now. Don't be fooled by the right now circumstance, because the, again, the vision, the goal, the idea is already placed in your spirit, whatever it is. And so do not be fooled by what you see here because the solution already exists, the answers already exist, the people you need to connect to already exist, but it's gonna require you stepping up, showing, showing up for yourself. And so the last tip I wanna share with you on how to speak life into your dreams, and if you're just joining, uh, yeah, Almedia, isn't that a good quote? When he said it, I wrote it down, I was looking through my journal and I was like, ooh, and I looked back through my journals and saw that one. My third one is to take daily action. Take daily action. I don't care how small. Let me tell you, I gotta give, I gotta do a little brag shout on one of my clients. Shout out to Angela Harris um, from Atlanta. We had a, a session yesterday and she's gonna be working with me in my new program. Y'all, I'm so pumped. My new signature program, Book More TV, launches today. Ah, I'm so excited. You can hear about it later. But um Yesterday, my point in bringing her up was, shout out to Angela, she's in my Hollywood Bound Actors group, Booking Magnet Academy, and she's very quiet. She don't even know I'm shouting her out. <laughs> I'll have to tag her later. But she's very quiet, very reserved, you know, you just don't know what's going on behind her eyes necessarily. And so she said she'd been wanting to work on this acting thing. She came to the Bronson's Film Festival when I was teaching there this past summer in Atlanta. And so I, it's been kind of ghost, like quiet. And honey, when I tell you, she showed up to our session yesterday, like, these are my headshots, these are my, this is my demo reel for this, this is this, and I was like, what? She's like, I've been moving really slow. I said, I don't, I said, but you've been moving. So that is my point. Look, y'all know I have a turtle, her name is Superstar, she's a little box turtle, and she would be moving them little, <laughs> little arms, honey. She looked like she ain't going nowhere, but honey, if I take her out that, that tank and put her on the floor, all of a sudden, that thing is gone. I'm like, where'd she go? My point is, even if you're making superstar moves, turtle moves, you are still moving as long as you're moving in the right direction. My turtle proves it to me every day. And shout out to Angela, who she thinks she's moving slow and maybe, but according to who? Who are you comparing yourself to? Whose race are you running? Focus on your own race. Put those blinders on like horses do and just focus on your own race. People say, Christine, how you do so much? You, you don't worry about this. I don't got time to worry about what other people are doing. I li literally do not have time. If I'm looking over here and looking over there, I would never get half the stuff I get done. So this year, welcome to 2020. See, where everybody's talking about perfect vision, that didn't resonate. I mean, it sounds nice and I get it. I get the whole you know analogy. But every time I hear it's 2020, I think of Barbara Walters. This is 2020. Like that's what was all is, is in my head <laughs> so far. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me have another sip. My voice is not awake. Oh, so who's feeling brave? Anybody want to share a goal? One goal. I know many of you have many. I saw I shared one to travel every month. And for me, I'll share another goal that's a little vulnerable. Um, I am, I want to produce 
my own web series this year. I spent 2019 pushing a lot, especially my inner circle clients, you know who you are. I pushed a lot of you to create your own content. And certainly I create my own through Actors Daily Bread and a tons of other stuff as a coach, but I neglected, not, ne not neglected, I just put on the back burner Christine the actor. In 2019, I was really in what I call in crouch season for my business to inspire and reach the masses of actors that I can reach. And that was through my book and my audio book and my programs and prepping for this new launch that's coming today. Um, so that's, I'm returning to the creator in me um, and really being as selfish as I was when I was prepped to write my book. I would work, wake up at 6.30 in the morning to give myself those 90 minutes that were me. I paid myself first. So, um, hey, Denise. Hey, Denine. Hey, Arthur. Hey, Sharon Ford. I'm going to come over here to, face, to Instagram, see what y'all got going on. Hey, Marilee. Marilee says uh, five boot camps a week, Monday through Friday for the next six weeks starting Monday. All right, go ahead and get it. Come on, Almedia said her goal is to finish her book by March and travel promoting it. All right, you got public accountability. <laughs> hey, Stephanie Green. Uh, she says complete the follow through. Let's. I'm going to scroll up to these comments. Hey, Dawn Axum, Happy New Year. Um, uh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Thank you. There was someone earlier who said that you just bought my book. There was just a lot of comments. Um, so listen, really quick, Orlando asked a question that was very good. Um, Elise says, currently I don't have a process for my audition prep. So my goal for the first quarter is to have a step-by-step -step process. Well, listen, Elise, are you signed up for my webinar, the workshop that's happening today? Listen, I have a, a webinar workshop I'm doing today. It's called Learn the Three-Part Rinse and Repeat Process to Book More TV. Y'all know that's my sweet spot. So I'm doing an intro class in honor of my new course, Book More TV, which opens today. Orlando, I will be sharing the link later today um, after the... Um, after the first workshop. Um, so look out for that. But at least come take the, um, oh, at least, okay, you are. So Instagram, the link is in my bio. Facebook, the link is above or below. Come spend 60 minutes with me. It ain't gonna be no recording, okay? Okay. I'm gonna be there live. So I'm trying to work, wake up the voice. So tonight, listen, and also for those of you who are watching who are registered, my Zoom right now, as of last night, there was like almost 200 people registered for the webinar tonight. And Zoom, the way my Zoom account is set up, I got to check in in the savings. The way it's set up, it only takes 100 people. So, like, it's not even like a scarcity tactic. Like, uh, log on early because once it reaches 100, I can't. It just doesn't allow anybody else in. Um, so I hope you come on and join earlier. Hey, Terry. Um, Terry, Henry, you can just click the link above this um, the thingy in the comments. But my handle on Instagram is actress Christine Horn. Actress Christine Horn, just like it's spelled. Hey, uh, hey, Arisha. All right, you guys, I'm going to go keep waking up my voice. I love you guys. I'm so proud. Ooh, don't get emotional. It's too early. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I know some of you I've only met through Instagram. I only know your handle name. But I see you. I see your comments. Those of you in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, if you're not in the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook group, you should totally join us. It's a really supportive group. But I see, I see you, and I know some of you have had a trying year. And I just pray for all of us that we just uh, achieve the desires of our heart and we get what we need and just stay focused. Remember, the lack of ev evidence is not the evidence of lack. Focus on the how. Focus on the why, forget the how. Go hard in the paint for your dreams, right? You are all a manifestation of a dream that I had. Every single one of you. And so don't forget the power that you have, the power that one person, the change one person can make. So I'm excited to see what you all create, what gets harvested in this new year. Um, you know, I'm so excited for you. Cherie says, I'm going to get a driver's license this year. Come on, driver's license. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. I'm going to end on this. Arisha Connor Fryer, Fry, you know, I'll be messing up your last name, girl. She says she's challenging herself to do to 100 characters in 100 days. I love that. I love that. Mrs. B. Johnson, it's all right. Be new and soak it all in. This has been Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 207, the first one of 
2020. If you're new to me and you're like, what is this goodness? Come on over to YouTube, subscribe, and catch up on all 207. It's my honor and my pleasure to serve you. I'm being obedient and I am right where I'm supposed to be as are you. Have a great day. Those of you coming to the workshop tonight, I'll see you later. Bye.